And now we move on to our chief guest. Um, I am humbled to introduce to you her, a powerful and inspiring woman. She graduated with a degree and in the interdisciplinary studies from Ohio University and earned her master's degree in business administration from the Ateneo Professional Schools Graduate School of Business. After a long career in the private sector, during which she was based in the Philippines and in China, she joined the Department of Foreign Affairs. She was assigned as third secretary and vice consul in the Philippine Embassy in Jakarta, Indonesia, before transferring to the Philippine Embassy in Muscat. I would like to welcome the Philippine Ambassador's Deputy, Honorable Jacqueline Ezerkiza, second secretary and consul from the Philippine Embassy in Muscat, Oman. Thank you, Desiree, for the kind introduction. Mr. Rupesh Yeshvan, Managing Director of Hadhab Bausher Trading, LLC, HBP's management and staff, partner companies and affiliates, and sponsors for today, my dear Filipino community in Oman, guests of today's gathering, a good morning to all of you. We are here today for the ninth year anniversary of Hadhab Bausher Trading LLC and the grand finals of V Faces 2023, bringing together members of the Filipino community and with HBP's associate and affiliate partner, Filipino Sa Oman Internet Radio, promoting entrepreneurship and products of local and international partners in the Omani market. Thank you for your kind invitation to today's event. I convey the regrets of Her Excellency Ambassador Imelda M. Panolong, who could not be here today with you due to a previous commitment. She is pleased that such an established company in Oman is working with Filipinos to bring well-loved brands from the Philippines to the Sultanate. Indeed, Having my usual mamacita mixes while cooking my comfort foods is a convenience that cannot be beat. It makes me happy to be here, as before joining the Department of Foreign Affairs, like Desiree mentioned, I was working with a Nasdaq-listed tech company in China, bringing buyers and suppliers together and facilitating global merchandise trade. I know how important it is to have access to products that are made on the other side of the world and how instrumental trading companies such as yours are in bringing these products to new markets. And now, with my work in the DFA and being currently assigned at the Philippine Embassy here in Muscat, I know how essential relationships are in conducting our affairs. Whether in the public or private sector, in government or business, community relations is one of any entity's top priorities. I am pleased that HBT thought to include the Philippine Embassy in its endeavor to further these relations. I know you also place much importance on maintaining and strengthening your relations with your partners, companies in your supply chain, and your customers. And this is why you hold events such as this, to bring everyone together. I commend your efforts to add to your ever-lengthening list of affiliate partners and your conduct of in-house training in line with your thrust of skills enhancement. And I am very excited for the opportunities open to HBT. The latest official statistics from Oman peg Filipinos in the Sultanate at 51,000. This is up from 45,000 a year or so ago. That is, for you, a ready market of 51,000 Filipinos looking for their favorite products from Natasha, Mama Sita, Forever Living, and Avon. That's also 51,000 possible resellers for the same products. The world is huge, but with people like you in the private sector and us, your partners in government, we can make it a little smaller by making our homes a little larger. Thank you so much for having me today. I wish everyone a pleasant event and best of luck to the 41 official finalists 
of V Faces 2023. I'll see to our chief guest. Okay.